what's up guys we are going to be decorating for st. Patrick's Day today I'm super excited we're gonna be doing some cleaning and decorating it's gonna be super fun and I love green it's my favorite color I love st. Patrick's Day I'm mostly Norwegian and then I have a little bit of Scottish and Irish my husband is German and he has a lot more Irish it's gonna be really fun over the next month to do some Irish traditions we're gonna be doing some recipes but today we are going to be decorating the house so I'm super excited if you're new to my channel I just want to say welcome I'm so glad you're here and I can't wait to share this video with you guys today I have a bunch of really fun decorations and some really cool ideas so I hope this video brings you some inspiration and motivation to clean and get a little bit of st. Patrick's Day fun in your house I have so many awesome videos planned this year both decorating cleaning homemaking mom life all that good stuff so if that's something you're into make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications because you're not going to want to miss any of the awesome stuff I have planned this year and I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family all right so I think we're ready let's get cleaning so what I'm going to do is start off by lighting a candle and putting on some fun music got my step stool I'm just gonna clear this area off and add some fun decorations. One of my favorite ways to decorate is with little garlands. I think they look so cute. They're inexpensive and they really add a nice element. Cleaning off our humidifier here and refill it with water. Just gonna wipe off this mirror and get all dust off. Wipe off the front of the storage dresser. I thought this sign was so funny. It says, shake your shamrock. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a couple little shamrock picks in these plants I already have to make them look a little bit more fun. And I am just gonna keep this area super simple and clean.
so I'm just gonna switch out from a Valentine's Day garland to a St. Patrick's Day garland. And as I said before, I love decorating with these little garlands. I think they're a super inexpensive and fun way to decorate. What is your favorite inexpensive decor? I will link everything that I can in the description. If there is something you're curious about, just go ahead and comment and I will try my best to either let you know where I got it or find a link for you. Now I'm just gonna be picking up the toys in the living room and tidying up a little bit. Next, one of my favorite parts of cleaning, vacuuming. It feels super satisfying to vacuum and really see all your hard work coming together. So I'm just vacuuming off any crumbs that are on the couch or in little cup holders. So a little bit later, I realized that the shamrock blankets were a little bit small. They're more like kid-sized blankets in my opinion. So I pulled out these green knitted cotton blankets. So before I put the other blankets up, I'm just gonna wipe down the couch a little bit better. I found these shamrock leggings at Walmart. I think they're so cute. They're like a green and black buffalo check with shamrocks on it. They're so cute and they're comfortable. So, you know, can't go wrong with cute and comfortable. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love this Happy St. Patrick's Day pillow. This is another cute find I got from Kohl's actually. I feel like their holiday decor is really cute. Just gonna vacuum all the crumbs off this couch as well and add a couple of throw pillows to it. I'm using a seventh generation multi purpose cleaner and it smells so good. Life was dull until you came. I was breathless when we first met. Couldn't keep my hands away. I think these shamrock pillows are so cute. They have really nice embroidered detail around the shamrocks. I got these from Kohl's as well. I got this metal shamrock wreath at Kohl's. I feel like Kohl's actually has really cute holiday decor. Now I'm just going to be adding a couple touches to this wreath that I got. I decorated it for Valentine's Day and I'm just taking toothpicks and these foam shamrocks. I believe I got them at the Dollar Tree or, or Hobby Lobby. I don't remember, but it turned out really cute. Never thought I'd feel this high. The sky has never felt this close and when you kiss me i can't believe that i am yours and you are mine you took the pain away didn't mind my scars and my broken heart so i got these little foam shamrock decorations at the Dollar Tree and we decided that it would be fun to put them on the girl's door and then Ashlyn wanted to put some on her brother Cameron's door and one on our door too. These are another really fun inexpensive item that adds a lot of color and they went pretty far too. So I'm just gonna be cleaning up the bathroom a little bit and I am going to add a little bit of decor in here. One of my favorite things to do is switch out the shower curtains for the season. We are a family of five sharing one bathroom, so anything I can do to make the bathroom a little bit more fun and inviting, I like to do. You've heard it all before, honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Put in some fresh towels. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? And then these are some more of those dollar store foam shamrocks that I got. I'm just adding a little piece of tape to the back and sticking them to the mirror to make it a little more seasonal. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. 
I have some shamrock picks that I'm going to be adding to these little glass jars. I'm just twisting the wire around my finger to make them a little bit shorter. And by twisting around your finger, it kind of makes the twist look a little bit more decorative versus just bending it in half. Now I'm just adding some toothpicks to the bottom of these foam shamrocks so that I can stick them into these plants. And I did this for Valentine's Day. I think this is a super fun and expensive and easy way to decorate. Add a little sign here that says luck. I really like this wire confetti. I'm not sure what you call it. Wire confetti garland. <laughs> I don't know. It's really fun to put around the house. Add little pops of color everywhere. Next, I'm just gonna be adding some fresh sheets to the bed and making it cute in our bedroom. I get so caught up in the middle. Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can hide I'm just gonna add some fun garlands on our curtain rod. I got this green and white wool ball garland and another shamrock garland.
I'm going to light a candle to make it smell really inviting and amazing. I thought this sign was so funny. It says, get lucky. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving today. Next, I'm going to just unload the dishwasher and clean up the kitchen a little bit. And I, I really want to know, really want to know If I let me figure out where the road goes Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. This is how my son taught me to wear a hat. Trust in always to <laughs> my son thought it'd be really funny if I wore his hat over my eyebrows down to my eyelids when my husband Scott got home. So we were just joking around about that. Now I'm just gonna wipe down the cabinets a little bit. Slide this mug in my coffee maker. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on here. I'm using more of the wire confetti garland. I added some heart garland for Valentine's Day to this area, and I thought it looked super cute and simple. And so I decided to do the same thing for St. Patrick's Day. Even if the sky is falling down Did you ever stop and think why well, spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing. So I'm going to just swap out my Valentine's Day mat and wreath and then add a St. Patrick's Day themed mat and a little welcome sign. I got these little picks to put in the tree as well from Home Goods, and I believe they were like $1.99, so I thought those would be a cute touch. I don't know what I could say to convince you to hang around. This funny little truck it says loads of luck. <laughs> My heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands are shaking. 
I really appreciate your comments and feedback, and I just wanna say how much I appreciate you. If you're new here, I wanna say welcome. If you like homemaking, mom life, cleaning, all that good stuff, I know you're gonna love my channel. I have so many awesome videos planned this year, and if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like the video, and give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a lot and lets me know what kind of videos you guys are interested in seeing. Hope you have a wonderful week, and I would love to hang out with you soon. I can't hug you through the lens, but I can try. Ah! Thanks for watching.